Okay, guys, this is a huge, huge banger that we got from Polanoid75 in the Genshin Impact Reddit. Shout out to Polanoid. This is a very well made thread about pretty much everything that's going to happen in the 1.1, everything that's officially leaked, and some more. Now, if you don't want any spoilers, I wouldn't watch this video. But if, you know, you probably want to know if you click the video with this title and thumbnail. But, anyways, We'll get down, we'll go through it really quick, and my thoughts of every single one. So the very first leak is the news quest and story content, which it looks like it's gonna be a new weekly boss under Leeway Harbor. And there's been tons of speculation that it's going to be Child himself. Now this is great, we're gonna have more weekly content. Probably gonna be another 60 resin, unfortunately. Hopefully they do something about that. But, you know, we can't really complain. We'll take another weekly content, weekly boss. Now there's also a change to the reputation system. You know, you can get a certain reputation level per city, per location, you know, area. And depending on your reputation level, you will get some, you know, prizes. It looks like you get a glider, some recipes, stuff like that. It looks like you can get it off quests and world explorations as well as bounties and requests, whatever that happens. I think this is pretty cool. This is a nice little feature. Now here we have a couple of quality life changes. This is pretty crucial. We now have the ability to lock weapons and artifacts so we don't accidentally fodder them. This is great, especially once you get later in the game and you start throwing all your three star weapons and your three star artifacts as you know, food for your better ones. If you can lock it because some still have value, some are very useful, that's huge. A compendium that allows you to view info on flora and fauna within Teyvat. There's a camera lock setting to automatically stop zooming and rotating. That's huge. In some fights, sometimes your camera angle gets really scuffed. Excess XP overflow when leveling weapons will be transferred into ore if possible instead of being completely wasted. Now, you know, you don't have to really mid-max when you're upgrading your weapons and putting the small stuff. That's kind of cool extra stuff for us extra resources for us we can't complain characters on expeditions will no longer be unavailable for use in the party we can now use our characters in the expeditions i remember this was really tough early game when you didn't have too many characters and you know i wanted to throw amber in expedition but i needed her for torches too so this is great that's huge ability to store your daily resin is condensed resin now this is quite interesting this way if you don't want to play one day you can log on and store your resin to be used later you can now also spend 40 resin at domains to get double the rewards these are two huge quality of life things that can help speed run it some days not everyone can play every single day and you're a degenerate like me you have a life you got to do things you can condense your resin that's actually amazing and not only that the domain doubling is huge. Now I don't have to refresh and run three times in a row. You can literally double it and speed run through your resin much faster. The rewards are gonna be more fat and everyone's happy. These are so far fantastic updates and changes. I'm a big fan of these. Now for the characters and banners, I think everyone knows this by now that's been doing any type of digging, any type of researching, but we have the five star polearm user. Splash looks fantastic. 5 star Geo. He scales with max HP. He's going to be a very good tank. I feel like most Geo users are good at tanking. That's just the nature of their attribute, I guess. So, of course, we also know that Child is going to be a unit. A hydro slash bow user. He has two different elemental bursts with his bow out. I'm not really too sure. It seems like you can switch between his weapons, which is pretty cool. So I think he will be probably a very fun unit to play as. I can see the creativity and the fun that you can do with him. Really excited for him. Probably won't pull for him though, unfortunately. <laughs> and we have the four star Xinyan. I can't, I, I can't read, I'm terrible at reading. This four star unit, a pyro, another pyro unit. I feel like we have a lot of pyro units in the game so far. But yeah, we'll see how she plays out. She's gonna be a Claymore users. I think Claymore's actually my favorite weapon in the game right now. Claymore users all feel like 
they bring a lot of value into fights. I think she'd be a pretty good unit. And Diona, we have a cryo bow user that's actually pretty huge. I feel like there's not many cryo units in the game right now. Off the top of my head, I think there's only two, right? And one's a five star. So adding a four star cryo unit to the pool is actually pretty crucial in the abyssal spiral. You're going to need multiple elements. You don't really need them to do damage. Having them as a support just to help you against the enemies you're playing against is huge. Just kidding, there's also Chong Yun. There's currently three cryo users, but it doesn't hurt to add another cryo to the pool. That's actually fantastic. For another upcoming banner, there is a possibility that Zhao's gonna have a banner. I can see this happening. Maybe not a ray. Uh, the rate up on Beidou might not be for sure, but I can see this banner being possible. Units having their own banner on their way out with the rate up makes sense. She's also a four star, so for her being on the rate up side as a four star would make sense. I would probably assume that they add another four star unit or two to join in their four star rate up pool. I have a good feeling that Zhao will have his own banner. So in Zhang Li's banner, he had a rate up with Ningguang. I can see that happening. Like I said earlier, maybe they'll add an extra unit or two to join the four star rate up pool. And there isn't you know, a guarantee on Child's banner. The status is still unknown. There's no leaked banner, but we can see him having his banner in the future as well. Just take these with a grain of salt. We're not entirely sure yet. And there has been this photo flying around of the new art of the standard banner. Now, I don't think the rates are going to change. It's just a nice looking art. And it's just there, literally there to bait you into wanting these units when you can already pull these units. So don't get too excited about this. It's still the same standard banner. I believe it's just going to be reskinned. Now there has been this data mine photo of Jean and people have speculated that Jean is going to be in the star glitter that you can purchase in the Paimon shop. There has been debunks and it's very likely that it's not going to happen. That she's not going to be a purchasable unit. We're just going to have to wait monthly. I don't think so either. We can just hope and see. There's also another rumor saying the five star pity is going to go from 90 to 50. I've heard 90 to 70. I've heard refunds and stuff like that. I don't think we're going to get a change on the five star pity. Not anytime soon. Maybe as the game's out for even longer or people start playing the game less. I can see them changing the pity to try and bait people back in. As of right now, I don't think it'll change. Don't get your hopes up on that. But I do hope they give us more primo gems from events and just playing the game. They really don't give us any. You know, we don't, some of these things give us a hundred and they, f it feels so bad because a hundred gems is not even one pull. That's insane. So hopefully we get more gems soon. I can see that change happening. Okay. So we have new weapons coming in. Apparently all five of them share the same abilities. I'm not too sure. I can't read this or I can't really click on the other weapons. And for this one in particular, the catalyst actually looks pretty crazy. But it looks like from eight seconds of landing a hit increases attack by four percent you can get stacks with it and when protected by shield increases the attack buff by 100 percent so this does look like a pretty good offensive weapon but then it increases shield strength too so it's kind of a supportive weapon i'm not too sure i think i would have to see this in play i can't tell if it's an offensive weapon or defensive weapon yet <laughs> it's giving me you know information of both now this portable teleporter seems pretty cool you can place it anywhere and it'll stay there for a maximum of seven days before fading i don't think this is too game changing it's a nice quality of life thing but yeah it would be kind of nice same as the anemo bottle lets you store these wisp guys and you can release them anywhere for updraft so if you don't have venti you can go ahead and use this bottle <laughs> Pretty useless item if you have venti, but not everyone does. So this would help everyone out that is ventiless. Now food bag looks pretty interesting. You can hotkey two foods together and it'll auto refill when you run out of that type of food. Now I'm not really too sure how this is going to work. Maybe you can activate this hotkey while you're fighting. Seems pretty interesting. I hope food has a bigger impact in this game. It doesn't really feel like it has that big of an impact right now, other than 
the revive foods and the attack you know the bonuses before you fight but during fights you don't really use food so maybe this might shift that there's also a portable cooking pot which lets you cook anywhere quality of life not too bad not too crazy and now there's a regional talisman and compasses so if you're missing any oculi it'll help you track them down there's apparently a compass that helps you track down chests i feel like that won't happen but if this does actually happen that's crucial <laughs> a chest hunting compass now when you get to late game there's literally nothing for you to do but fight mini bosses and hunt for chests this would be great but there's also a referral event it looks like when you referral players or friends you'll get 10k mora and 60 gems per player that hits level 15 it might cap at just three referrals we'll see how that works out might as well let all your homies know about this game hitting ar 15 doesn't require too much time either so maybe they'll hop on and you know you can help them out there's a food delivery event as well upcoming the rewards seem pretty nice but if i remember correctly it was something like 30k 20k and another 30k it was something like that all i remember it was around 70k total of mora i believe that you can do daily from this event i hope this event will be kind of nice there's also a gliding event it looks like you get talent books from this there's seven events from what it seems like you can get bronze silver and gold collecting stuff more rewards more events we'll be looking forward to that now there is an unturned star event now this one's very interesting it looks the coolest out of all of them but apparently he can't find the details on the content but by participating in this three-part event you get shards used in a limited time event shop limited time event shop this is very common in a lot of gacha games where during an event you get a currency that you can use in this event and you can usually try and buy the shop out i'm very happy that they're doing something like this i don't think we've had a limited time shop in this game yet so this would be kind of huge and apparently you can get a free official here and elemental crystals for character ascension so yeah this event is the one i'm looking forward to the most three-part event limited time shop hopefully the event will give us enough of the currency to buy the whole shop out judging by just even these alone from this screenshot these rewards are amazing it's fire you can buy 180 of these 80 of these you know 120 of these even three of these so you don't have to fight the boss as much the bosses as much you know like these rewards are amazing and i really hope we can clear the whole shop out that that would be the first greatest event in this game hands down if we have enough you know stuff i don't know what to call it right now if we get enough uh, currency from this event and we can buy this shop out it'll be the greatest event in the game so far so i'm very excited for that one okay as for a future character it looks like we're gonna have this little dendro lolly <laughs> friends with chi chi paimon of course i believe this might be the first dendro character being introduced to the game there hasn't really been much dendro in the game yet there hasn't been a dendro units this that that if you in case you don't know what dendro is it's the seventh you know element that hasn't been introduced so far there's only been dendro slimes and dendro mages that i can think of off the top of my head this 1.1 update is about to be fat so if they do this every six to eight weeks is what it sounds like i'm very excited especially for this one this is a very huge change the quality of life changes are great new units are cool and all but i i'm a you know i'm more excited for events and, and stuff like this i don't want to hurt my wallet and dig any more money into getting new units anyways new weapons whatever but yeah guys thanks for watching if you made it to the end make sure you like the video it would really help me out i'll leave a comment below on what you're most excited for in the upcoming updates I'm really happy that this game looks like it's shifting in the right direction with updates like this and changes to the resin system i think this game has potential to last a long time and i'm really enjoying it so far oh so yeah thanks for watching guys peace Thank you.